могут ничего с ним сделать. Пламя вообще ужасно. Еще и ветер помогает, вызывает. Господи, там уже охватило все, сюда пошло. Ну что? Man who shot Slovak PM belonged to pro-Russian militarized group. The assassination attempt on Slovakia's Prime Minister Robert Fico was politically motivated, the TA3 News Channel reported. I do not agree with the FICO government's policy, said the shooter called Juraj Sintula as quoted by the television channel. He made this statement right after his detention, saying that he had opposed the government's policy limiting media freedom. According to the television channel, the man might have plotted the attack on the Prime Minister during the last month. The allegation that the 71-year-old writer Sintula, who carried out the assassination attempt on FICO, disagreed with the government's policy was corroborated by his son. Let me say this, father did not vote for FICO during the election to the parliament. The man said when asked by the Actuality News website if his father hated the prime minister. He added that Juraj Sintula had never mentioned any intention to make an attempt on the politician's life. Meanwhile, Slovak media reported that FICO's security officers are to blame for the successful assassination attempt. The experts who commented on the incident said that the Prime Minister's bodyguards were a total fiasco. They believe that the incident should have been avoided, provided that those acted professionally in conformity with the procedure. Juraj Sintula, a 71-year-old man who reportedly shot Robert Fico, may be connected with Slovensky Branci, a pro-Russian militarized group. Investigative journalist Zabolx Pani said this. Pani tweeted two screenshots of Facebook posts by Slovensky Branki, which show the same man who made the attempt on Fico's life. Slovensky Branki is an unregistered paramilitary group that has been active in Slovakia since 2012. Journalists have reported the organization cooperated with the Slovak branch of the Night Wolves biker gang and its members who were trained by former members of Russian special forces. Slovensky Branki officially announced their dissolution in October 2022 without specifying the reasons why. Recall on the 15th of May, Slovak Prime Minister Robert Fico was shot after a government meeting and taken to hospital. U.S. intelligence considers Russia biggest foreign threat to election in America. Foreign adversaries of America may try to influence the upcoming U.S. elections. According to U.S. intelligence agencies, innovations in artificial intelligence on the Internet can be used to spread disinformation. This in turn could mislead voters and undermine confidence in democracy. At the same time, U.S. intelligence agencies consider Russia to be the most active foreign threat to the U.S. election, with China and Iran also on the list. This year, Russia remains the most active foreign threat to our elections. Using a vast multimedia influence apparatus encompassing state media, intelligence services and online trolls, Russia's goals including eroding trust in U.S. democratic institutions, exacerbating socio-political divisions in the United States and degrading Western support to Ukraine, says U.S. Director of National Intelligence Avril Haines. U.S. elections face more threats than ever from foreign actors, enabled by rapid developments in artificial intelligence intelligence, the country's top intelligence official told lawmakers. Federal, state and local officials charged with protecting voting integrity face a diverse and complex threat landscape. Avril Haines told the Senate Intelligence Committee at a hearing about risks to the 2024 elections, but she also said the federal government has never been better prepared to protect elections. 
thanks to lessons learned since Russia tried to influence voters in 2016. In addition, she said the rise of new AI technologies that can create realistic deepfakes, targeting candidates and of commercial firms through which foreign actors can launder their activities are enabling more sophisticated influence operations at larger scale that are harder to attribute. Earlier, US intelligence revealed that the Russians had stepped up their disinformation campaign against Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky.